everyone, it's Rocky, and I'm back again with another episode of Mystic Messenger. So we've got a visual novel mode here with Juman Han. Our sweet Juman. I told you, you don't need these things. I like getting a good look at you more than a designer bag. I had to go on a trip alone because you were so busy again. Huh, Juman? Don't worry, I'll take good care of him. Another business trip? Don't worry and go. I'll be taking a short trip to Bali this time. Gift? I'm fine. Well, if you insist, there's one I can think of. There's a new Duffany necklace that came out. It has diamonds embedded into it. I heard it's a limited edition, but you don't have to get it. You could if you were reminded of it. Jumina, where are you? Oh, I'm here. Here. When did you grow so tall? You're a grown man now. You seem to be taller than your father. Just looking at you makes me pleased. I can't even see your father's face these days because he's too busy. Can't we be nicer to each other? I just want to give you a hug. I know it must have been hard not having your mom, but you must be lonely, hanging out with that camera boy every day. If it's too hard for you to call me mom, just call me by my name. You're not looking at my eyes again. Are you still ignoring me? Your eyes are always dead when you look at me. Do you hate me that much? It's because you're still young. Just tell me when you get lonely. I'll comfort you real well so that you're not. Jumin, I really can't understand. Why are you avoiding me? Everyone is dying to meet me. I have the looks and money. I'm perfect, even compared to you. You saw Mazim met, right? I have the hottest curvy body in the country. You didn't? Don't lie. Stop pretending to be shy and just tell me how much you like me. You're playing hard to get, right? If you're trying to get my attention, you've got it. So just embrace me. I want to rest inside your arms. God, you're a rock until the end. Fine, whatever. I'm not interested in hugging. You don't have to do anything. Just let me be with you. What's so important about showing your love? What matters is that we're together. Imagine everyone getting so jealous. I don't need expensive gifts. Designer bags. I can buy one with my own money. I just want a house where we can make a living together. You know where most celebrities live these days, right? The tallest building in that neighborhood. I heard that the penthouse belongs to your company. I won't ask for a new place. I'll be happy with just that. <sighs> no wonder he hates women. <sighs> Dream. Here on Celebrity Sweet News, we've brought you a big one. We followed CDR's Chairman Han on his way to work, and he did not deny it when we asked about his divorce. He's been officially separated from his wife for two years, and his divorce settlement is projected to be a staggering amount of money. Because of rumors going around that there is evidence of Chairman Han cheating on his wife countless numbers of times, we have with us here a specialist who can tell us more about how much his settlement will be. Who turned on the TV? Meow. Slept well, princess. God, I had a horrible dream. Elizabeth III, I'm glad you're not like those women. He calls his cat princess. Is Juman going to be okay? Is Juman's company, sorry, going to be okay? Let's find out. Ah! The girls in my class are going crazy. I was feeling pretty low at having math in the morning, but oh. after what the girls told me, I feel horrible. Apparently on cele Celebrity Sweet News, Chairman Han himself uh, gave an interview that he was getting divorced. We saw it coming, but 
I mean, what was he thinking? Giving an interview to a crappy news channel. Everything goes... Is... Everything does go public if you're famous, but this concerns his family. I wouldn't want the whole world to know about this. And also, uh, don't you think that things are going a bit too fast? If I were Juman, I'd be going crazy. This is all happening in a day, you know? What Jehe says scares me more. You can't deny that Glam Choi is up to something. I'm worried about Juman. But the company will lose its reputation now. The girls in my class are already talking about boycotting CNR's products. They don't want to buy things from a company whose chairman swaps women so fast. Like that. I know I'm sure a lot of women purchase products from Juman's company, but Mr. Chairman needs to watch what he says. Oh. I may be getting ahead of myself, but maybe this will end up damaging the company too. Nothing will change because I'm worried, but Juman even sent me security guards because of the hacker fiasco and I can't just sit here and watch while Juman's company is getting attacked. But Juman's security guards, this isn't the time to talk about this. To be honest, that's bringing me a lot of attention. They follow me to school just in case. I feel like I'm someone super important with all those people in suits following me. I never imagined that this would happen to me, but honestly, it's not so bad getting attention. It feels weird that all this is because of the hacker. But when else would I get to feel the sweat like this? Might as well enjoy the feeling. <laughs> oh, class is starting again, so I have to go. I'll tell you if I hear other rumors. Juman, cheer up. Hang in there. Bye-bye. Um, now we got stop cap businesses. Mila, you're here. I'm getting a headache with all these false stories going around. Jakey, hello, but what do you mean by false stories? Did Juman go to work today? What tie is he wearing? Which brand? False stories. Articles went out that Mr. Han Sr. gave an interview himself, but it wasn't an interview. He simply did not give any comments to the reporter's questions. Gosh. A decrease in sales would be hard to avoid because of this. Mr. Han doesn't seem too happy, but once other departments start sending in reports about the sales, the office will be very gloomy. How is Juman? Should I go and charm him back to life? How's Juman? Mr. Han. Is working as usual, but taking care of paperwork enormously fast. It's good that Mr. Han is working, is focusing on work, but I can tell that he is feeling very low at the moment. The fact that he is working faster isn't too strange, but I almost doubted my ears when I heard this. Mr. Han said we should stop all cat-related projects for a while. Phew, that's good. I wish he'd stop obsessing over cats. Juman is really not himself. You're right. I was happy to hear it, but to be honest, I'm shocked nonetheless. I never imagined Mr. Han would put a stop to cat projects. Besides, he acted very much like a true director and told everyone that we should prepare for our share prices to go down and get our performances up to 130%. What he said is absolutely right, but I couldn't get used to it. Jehi, good to see you. And you too, Mila. Hello, Zen. Zen, how was the meeting? Zen, you're here. I don't think Juman is doing very well. Really? Hmm, that's too bad. But I can't let bad news dampen my excitement about this new role. You have a new role? Yes, it's finally confirmed. Congratulations. Oh that's really good news. Uh, yeah. Thank you. The director wanted to see me in the morning. So I thought it might be about a new role. I put some effort into looking properly. <laughs> I got there a bit early because I was so excited, but he was already waiting for me. <laughs> he must have waited for a while. He's so cute. You must have felt great. Of course. I knew it the moment I saw him. As soon as I said hello, he put his arms around my shoulders and said, Zen, isn't it time you work on a new role? <laughs> and then he added, You should let people see your face more often. It'd be a waste not to. <laughs> he was absolutely right. He knows exactly what a director should be doing. 
You're pretty dramatic, lol. Yes, he is a great director. Great director. He has a good eye. <laughs> but what's really awesome is... Ta-da! Improv rehearsal? Wow, so cool. But uh, the costume's a bit tacky. So cool! Right? He really put a lot of thought into it. <laughs> Brought the costume and everything. Just looking at the photo reminds me of your singing and dancing. Just looking at the photo reminds me of your singing and dancing. I know. He was so cute. Oh, right. So the director also said this. Go on. Something like that. No, it was actually... Even Zeus would kill to have your charm. Yeah, it was that. <laughs> He's so right, even Zeus would be jealous. The two sentences are completely different. Uh, yeah. So? It just means that Zen is attractive on, in so many different ways. Right. To be honest, I loved Greek mythology. I always wondered what was so charming about Zeus. I mean, don't you think I'm a million times more handsome than Zeus? I'm sweet. I have a good body. And good looks. I actually did think that I could be the god of beauty or something like that. Gah, me more handsome than Zeus? <laughs> I'm a bit conceited, aren't I? Glad you're finally seeing it. No one has actually seen what Zeus looks like, so you can say whatever you want. But also, if there is a god of beauty, I think you'd be perfect for it. <laughs> Congratulations on getting the new role. Can I ask you the title of the new piece? Oh, I heard that it's based on a game. Tendalion? <laughs> yeah, it's Tendalion. Tendalion. I heard it was a game that almost gave many young girls heart attacks. Never, never ending turn, never ending loop. And now you get to make that game into reality. I'm very excited for it. Is that game available on Steam? I'll look forward to it too. Um, yeah. Is it on Steam? We know it is. Yes, I actually purchased it a while ago, but I should try it again. Now I can think of Zen. No, I mean, never mind. Mila, if you haven't purchased it yet, I strongly recommend that you do. <laughs> Not nice advertising. Anyways, thanks so much, everyone. It's really shameless, Cher. It's really shameless. We talked about the new role for hours. And I'm sure the musical will live up to my fans' expectations. That's very good news. Once the fan club knows, they will all start clapping and singing congratulatory songs. Songs, too? <laughs> Just hearing it makes me happy. I'm really looking forward to it. Apparently my new character is this obsessive strong man. Mila, how would you feel if someone like me obsesses over you? Ermagerd, you can have me. I'm yours. I'll report, report you to the police. You can have me that easily. You can't have me that easily. No. Uh, no. Um, yes. Report you to the police. <laughs> I get to go to the police station? This suddenly came to me, but what? I think you will look great in a police uniform. <laughs> Thanks. I'd like to try it on someday. If you really do, I'm worried you might end up Inducing heart attacks. Many women will be having a hard time breathing. No, that's not good. Then I'll have to turn myself in. But, to be honest, I've never been obsessed over a woman. So I'm wondering how I should prepare for this role. Play the original game. Hmm, why don't you think about how Juman acts towards Elizabeth? It's not too late. Get obsessed over me. Come on, babe. Uh, think about Juman and Elizabeth. I did think something similar, but I don't want to follow that dude. But I guess if I take after how that jerk obsesses over his cat, it might help me with my character. You're going to use Mr. Han as your reference material? The character description really reminded me of him. And that's not a bad idea. Everyone is amazed at how Mr. Han loves Elizabeth. I suppose you could call it an obsession. <sighs> Mr. Han... Told me to stop calling his... Told me to stop... All cat-related projects. Wow. Stop all cat-related projects? <laughs> That's good news, isn't it? I'm happy too, but... Isn't that really good for you? 
I guess he finally came to his senses. <laughs> Don't worry about it and just focus on the work you have, Jehi. Well, it is very not like Mr. Han to make such a decision. It is. The company's gonna get rich now. I think so, too. He's stopping the projects that he loves. So you agree. Well, isn't that better? Isn't that for the better? He's throwing away all the useless projects and finally doing something real. And do it, finally doing some real work. To be honest, Mr. Han has always done a lot of work. And he has been very good at it. Although he occasionally starts idiotic cat projects, the reason why our department shows the best results in the company is because Mr. Han is very good at it as a company director. Oh, so he was actually pretty good. He's very good. To be honest, he does much more than I do. That jerk. That's pretty cool. He works hard, makes a lot of dough, has a rich family, and is handsome. The perfect husband. Nope, that's cool. He is very respected in the company. Here, he talks about his cat all the time. So I doubt the members here would feel the same way. He's respected? Anyways. Mr. Han has always done well, but now he wants to see better results. It might be to prepare for the drop in stock prices due to Mr. Han Sr.'s scandal, but it might also be because he's worried that if he shows the slightest drop in performance results. Mr. Han Sr. might force him into the marriage because of that. Oh. Of course, this is only my guess. He could just be a man and ask me out. I know that's what he wants. God, yeah, I guess this isn't the time to expand the business for personal reasons. Yes, Mr. Han has started cat projects for his personal pleasure and has been able to because he's the chairman's son. He might be trying to prove his ability just as normal director of the company without using the son privilege. Hmm, that's hard. Personally, I think Juman with his personality would never marry someone if he doesn't want to. If I marry Juman, our child will be born with- okay, no. Uh, normally Juman would ignore it, but his father suggested and I think that's why it's getting to him. I think so as well. Mr. Han actually thinks very much of his family. He does, after all, work in a family business. Hmm. I never thought he was... I never thought there was that side to him. Well, let's quit talking about depressing things. And go back to talking about my new role. <laughs> so the person who wrote the scripts is this romance novel association. I'd like to invite them to the party. What do you think? No fantasy or SF writer? That's a good idea. Yeah. If I play this part well, I think I might- I think that it might be possible. I didn't know, but apparently a lot of the writers are fans of mine. Ugh, seriously. <laughs> Me incorporating Juman Han into my acting. The world is full of surprises. Exactly. I never expected that I'd call a reporter late in the night. I hope that I can find out more about Miss Choi. It seems- uh, she seems like a total gold digger, I really hope we get her this time. If she's hiding anything, I hope we find out soon. Yes. If I can, I hope to pick up some speed on looking into her. Um, yes? Can't we just keep talking about my new role? Oh, yes, go ahead. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I feel a bit timid. Excuse me? Zen, you're so cute. Let's get back to talking about glam. Oh my god. I mean, I wasn't suggesting that you switch the topic right away. Do you have anything else that you want to tell us about your new role? No, never mind. Let's just finish talking about glam. So, I think that glam woman... ...wants to do some business by playing around with people's feelings. I mean, I hope that's the case. I agree. I can't help but think that way. It's enough with Mr. Han Sr. in her hands. I can't understand why she's trying to get Mr. Han to marry. To be honest, I hate a lot of things about that jerk, but this time maybe I should support him a bit? Oh, that's nice. Let's support him together. You're in my hands now, lol. Let's support him together. Mila, why don't you try supporting me? I support you too, Zen. 
<laughs> Thank you. Jehi, please tell me if there's anything I can do, considering the situation. I'll make an exception. And try to help the next chairman in line. Really, this is just once. Thank you. I will tell you if there's anything that you can do. And I wish all the luck on your new role. I'm very excited for it. I felt like I had stumbled upon an oasis amidst my hectic schedule. Kumawa. Really? An oasis? <laughs> I'm glad you thought so. I'll look forward to it too, haha. I hope everything goes well with Jumin. <laughs> We're talking about that jerk again? Anyways. I should go read the script now. I have to familiarize myself with the story and be prepared. Just like a true actor should. That's great. I should go back to work as well. Jehi, hang in there. Tell me if things get too hard. And you take care of yourself, Mila, okay? Zen, good luck with the new role. I'm so excited to see it. Good luck today, Jehi. Yes, thank you. I will also look forward to your performance. Thanks. I'll be off. I'll get going as well. Bye, guys. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.